Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do a you versus them read. This read is timeless. When you come across it is when you're meant to see it. And when you do come across it, please only take something if it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, leave it for somebody else. Sick, thick energy on YouTube. This is little Delilah. She just lays here sleeping and looking cute. So she's our little mascot and spirit guide here on the channel. Um, guys, there's two situations, in case you haven't heard about them already. One, never ever give your money out to anybody on the internet, on any platform that contacts you, right? They're trying to rob you, all right? Secondly, is these freaking buttons and these bells. So if you could find it in your heart to ring my bell and press my button, I would greatly appreciate it. It's free, it's fun, and it's entertainment purposes only, okay? So thank you very much ahead of time. Here we go. With an attitude of gratitude, I would humbly like to thank Source. The Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to bless clear and concise messages for the higher good of Pisces. And Pisces, in case nobody told you today, I love you. And so does Delilah, okay? Now, here's, here's how this goes. Querent, that's you. Whether you're a cross watcher or not, you're the querent because you're watching. You're on the left. They, whoever they are, you have to place it. It's going to be different for everybody are on the right. However, we do not have tarot police around here. So, if you resonate more with the right than the left, switch it, flip it, do whatever you want with it, okay? So, here we go. Show me what Pisces needs to see, please, and thank you. Mutual energy in the middle, all right? So, what's Pisces doing? And we're, Okay, so, yeah, that's your energy. And what is Pisces bringing to the table, please, with that? What is Pisces bringing to the table? Show me. What are they bringing to the table? Okay, Pisces, you're bringing... Oh, you're bringing... Okay. So listen, you want a breakthrough in some kind of a situation. We're going to see what these people are doing. We don't know yet, right? You want a breakthrough and you want the power. You want the control. You are in control, okay? So you might force this breakthrough to happen, Pisces. Okay, them. Now, it's whoever they are for you, that's who it is, okay? Or maybe this side will be you. Who knows, right? They, oh, they're going to they're losing their top. Their temperance in reverse. Temperance is rever in reverse talks about an imbalance. They're imbalanced. They could be reckless right now, maybe a little hasty. There could be some discord with them. Whoever they are, yeah, they're going through it. They have no self-control right now whatsoever, okay? They're blowing their top. They're doing everything. They're having temper tantrums. Yeah, temper tantrums. That's right. You heard it. Yeah. Cra uh, what did they bring to the table, please? They're bringing, well, they're going to be contacting you, so that's good, Pisces, and they're coming in quick. You know what the Eight of Wands is, right? Swift activity, so some kind of fast uh, forward movement in a situation. Sorry, I just knocked those right out of my hand. Um, correspondence, text, phone calls, they want some kind of communication. That They're, they're bringing um, an open line of communication, all right? Show me the, uh, yeah, what is the mutual energy here, please, and thank you. What is the mutual energy here, please, and thank you. Mutual energy between Pisces and whoever this is for them. Thank you. It's strength and reverse. Well, you're both weak to one another. Okay, this is, you know, this is, look, temperance in reverse and strength in reverse is not having any self-control. Okay, strength in reverse is being vulnerable. It's, it's like a doubting of yourself. It's some kind of lack of confidence, maybe even cowardice. Maybe you two are even afraid to contact each other. You're both scared, right? But you both don't feel secure. This is your mutual energy. Now, What's the future actions here with Pisces, please? I should say the querent, right? The querent. Maybe we should say that instead. This one wants to come out. Oh, okay. So here comes the sun, Leo energy. You're ready to charge in and take control like the empress, empress you are here, right? And make it work. This, this is success. Okay. The world is, you know, accomplishment, achievement. So you want some kind of completion and fulfillment in this situation. Show me what you're bringing to the table. Besides a lot of gusto. <laughs> That's what I'm here. A lot of gusto. Show me what Pisces is bringing to the table. Oh, Querent. Sooner spread, folks. We'll get it. Okay. Come on, Querent. Show me the Querent. What are they bringing? Okay, what are you bringing to the table is, oh, success. You're, you're riding in on your uh, victory horse over here for success. Look at that. Good for you, Pisces. I mean, the Nine of Cups talks about success. So you want joy. Happiness, victory, success. This is what you want. Okay. Show me them, Pisces. What are they doing? Them, whoever them is. The king of wands. So, yeah, this could be somebody who's um, not letting their emotions cloud their judgment. All right. 
Doesn't mean they don't have them. Just means that it's a cold energy. They might be being very cold to you right now. Maybe you guys aren't even talking, right? Show me what they're bringing to the table. The future action is maybe to stay closed off. The King of Wands is the stern uh, king. I tell you this all the time. They're not affectionate. They're not um, emotional at all. Um, yeah. Could even be angry, maybe. But in control. Large and in charge. I'll tell you that. The King of Wands is a leader. I mean, they take control when they want to. So I'm just saying, well, we're going to see what the mutual energy is. Okay. What they're bringing to the table is the devil in reverse. Huh. Interesting. Okay. So what they're bringing to the table is some kind of detachment. Where they are, in the, they're bringing their independence, their freedom. They're overcoming this addiction or whatever this is. Okay. This relationship. Um, yeah. Doesn't look good. It's like a release. The devil in reverse is like a release. So, so that's what they're doing in the future. They're like releasing this. And, and yeah, all right, just so show me this. Okay, so you both want to take, the mutual energy between you in the future is that you would both like to take a leap of faith. Maybe start something new. Maybe rekindle it. Whatever this is, you know. But a leap of faith, okay? The fool is the zero. It's about a new beginning. You both want some kind of new beginning, some kind of adventure. You know, it's a free spirit. It's spontaneity. Maybe, you know, this new beginning doesn't necessarily have to be with each other. Show me what the most likely outcome is for this. This energy is not so good here. I mean, even though they're releasing, it looks like they're releasing whatever this was. Now, that being said, yes, spirit, I hear you. What they could, if, if there was some toxicity between you, right, with the devil, or they could be releasing that, and then now you both want a new beginning with this mutual energy. So show me uh, the most likely outcome here, please. The most likely outcome. Please and thank you. Okay, well, the most likely outcome. Ooh, it's a new beginning. Look at this. Good for you, Pisces. It's the star card. So that's about hope for the future. I mean, look what you got. You got a new beginning and hope for the future. So that's amazing. Let me just get these cards that I dropped on the floor. And I'm going to give you some signs here, okay? So what you have is Taurus. What you have is Leo. What you have is Sagittarius, okay? You have Capricorn, there's fire, here's Aries, here's Aquarius, and again with the Leo. At the bottom of the deck, the Knave of Wands. So action, I mean, that's fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, yeah, so that's action. So that's really good. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do Romance Angels. Give me some Romance Angels on this, please. And then we're going to throw down some letters for initials or... I don't know, words, places, people, places, and things, whatever they are. This says release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So, you know, listen, there's so many of you. Some of you are going to release. Maybe some of you are going to have hope for the future. You know, you could be taking a leap of faith in any direction, right? Show me. So, it's, you know, show me. Show me here. Romance angel, please. Come on for Pisces. You can give it to me. Here we go. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Anything else? So that one just fell out. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. And then you have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So you see how it's going to be different for, for everybody. Some of you are going to release the people. Some of you, them, whoever them are, right? Some of you are going to, uh, this is your soulmate. You know, you got to keep an open mind. Maybe you're going to find somebody new and always pay attention to any red flags. I mean, that's just a given. Okay, so here we go. At the bottom, codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So that could be, you know, that could be for some of you, Pisces. More likely than not. Okay, here's letters. So here we go. Oh, Delilah loves that. Poor Delilah, did you see her? Here we go. All right, here we go. So we have a G, an O, an N. I see gone. Um, I'm seeing Gary, Gina. There's two ends. You got a blank tile. You have an E. Uh, a Y. This is a C. You have R. I. A. Couple of I's. I'm seeing Ginny. Ginny. Look at that. Ginny. So somebody may be Ginny. I'm seeing Franny. Franny. I'm seeing Frank. Frank. 
orange. I don't know why I'm getting that. Maybe some of you like oranges. Um, there's an F. Uh, Felicia. For Freddie, there's a T. There's another I. A couple of T's. <clears throat> Clearing ground A. E. Christopher. Chris. That's the blank. Jeanette. I'm hearing Jeanette. Quinn. That's been coming up a lot lately. Quinn. Hmm. Here's the blank. What do we have here? E. We have... Rowan, Rowan, is that a name? I don't know. Quiz, maybe somebody have to take some kind of a quiz. School or something, I don't say. T, maybe some of you have T, I also have teen. Teen, look at this. Um, yeah, what else do we have here? O, A. So you guys, you know, this is kind of like um, the Wheel of Fortune, right? While I'm looking at it, I'm probably, zeal. Some of you have a lot of zeal. Um, I'm not coming up with things that you could see looking on the camera. So if there's any, you know, anything I'm missing, you want to throw it in there, feel happy. But those are the letters. Uh, and yeah, so thank you again, Pisces. And always remember, leave the logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Until next time, love and light.